I'm Karen. I'm a spinal physiotherapist. Many of our staff spend a lot of time driving and we all know that fixed positions are not great for us. One in five staff report having musculoskeletal injuries related to work-based activities. In this video, we're going to offer advice on how to adjust your seating position to make your driving more comfortable and to minimise the risk of musculoskeletal injury. To get into the vehicle, stand facing away from the seat, sit down lowering yourself using the car for support if needed. Once seated, turn to put your left leg in, followed by your right leg. Now you need to adjust your seat for a comfortable and safe driving position. Firstly, shuffle your bottom back in the seat, then move the seat forwards so that with your foot fully depressing the clutch, there is a comfortable bend at the knee. Next, adjust the height of the seat so that your hips are just in line with your knees and most importantly so that you can see over the dashboard and the steering column. The seat should just support under the back of your thigh without compressing it to avoid any circulation problems. Adjust the seat angle to the position where your back and shoulders are nicely supported. It does not need to be upright, in fact this is a common misconception. If your car has a lumbar support, make use of it. To do this, fully deflate it and then reinflate it gently until it just touches the lower part of your back offering a little bit of support without unnaturally arching it. If your car doesn't have an adjustable lumbar support and you feel it's inadequate, then you can use a small rolled up towel or cushion just to position in the lower part of your back to offer a little bit of support, but don't be tempted to overdo it. The head restraint should be just level with the top of your ears. Your head does not need to be touching it as it's there as a restraint, not a rest. Once you've found your optimal seating position, adjust your mirrors. That way, if you slouch or slide down in your seat, you'll notice you can't see out of your mirrors so well and will be prompted to sit back up again. A lot of shoulder and arm discomfort comes from overreaching to the steering wheel. Your shoulders should be relaxed, your elbows slightly bent, and with your arms out in front of you, your wrists should just drape over the top of the steering wheel. If your arms get tired or tingly when you're driving, just try adjusting the steering wheel position. The recommended hand position is at nine and three o'clock. This gives you best control of the steering wheel and optimum position of your arms. It's also the safest position for your hands if the airbag deploys. You may now need to alter the height of your seat belt if you've adjusted your seat greatly and also if you share a car with others. In some cars, you can store your seat position to memory. Do so if you can, so that you can move your seat back fully to make it easier to get in and out of the car. Then turn to pop both of your feet outside of the car, stand up, use the side of the car for a little bit of support again if you need it. Thanks for watching, sit comfortably and please drive safe.